What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl Guide video. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps to have the most optimal way of shiny hunting the starters. So let's just get this out of the way. Yes, the starters inside a Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl can be found shiny. Unlike Sword and Shield and I believe Pokemon Let's Go, the starters in this game, the very first Pokemon that you obtain can be found shiny however there is a method to the madness to actually see the shiny as well as the best ways and practices that you want to do if you want to set up a shiny safe state and be ready for this shiny so first thing you want to do is obviously start a new save i say start a new save because i already had started a save and a playthrough and with the nintendo switch if you start up the game on a different account it allows you to have multiple save files on the same Nintendo Switch, just under different profiles. This way, if you do that, you are able to continue playing through the game as normal, but anytime you wanna jump back into the shiny hunt, you're able to do so and be able to move and trade the shinies over to your main profile or continue your adventure up on this one. Now, in order to get to the main Pokemon, you actually have to go into this, um, your partner's house. Let's go in here and let's get up to the area where you actually get to choose your first starter Pokemon. Now, I believe it's in the forest. So let's get up there. He's gonna run down the stairs. Let's follow him. He's gonna head out the house and let's head up here. I wish they gave us the running shoes this early on in the game. But we have to do the slow walking animation right here. Let's pick up Barry. He's going to start following us. Yes. Let's go to the lake. And he's going to follow us to the lake. Now, you want to stop right here in front of the lake. Right when you get the conversation. Right before you get the conversation. Anyway. You're going to stop about right here. And you want to go into your options menu. Now, what you want to do is to make this process a little bit faster. You want to pick your tech speed as fast. None of this actually matters. What matters is that you have auto save turned off. So this way, during that cutscene or during that match, it does not save and you actually start off the game where you actually save and it doesn't rely on the auto save and drop you back at Barry's house. And then what you want to do is to leave here, you put set and end, which is the B button. It says, would you like to save these settings? You put yes. It says the settings have been saved. And then when you leave here, you want to press R and then save your game. It says, would you like to save your progress? You put save your progress. It says now saving. Your progress has been saved. Now you're able to load your game. You're going to be right here in front of this lake area. You walk in here to initiate the cutscene. Now this is where the most of the cutscene is going to be taking place. But if you just button mash, you'll be able to fly through this very quickly. Depending on which starter Pokemon you want to hunt for is going to be the one that you want to pick. Turtwig, because he is the first Pokemon that the icon goes to, is going to be inherently faster. But again, if you are shiny hunting a shiny Piplup or a Chimchar, again, all you got to do is just move towards the Pokeball and then press A or the clone spawning button towards that Pokemon. Now it's going to say, well, what's going on? going to say pick a Pokemon right here. I'm just going to press A very quickly on the Turk trick and pick yes. Now this is when we would see the shiny right here once the battle actually starts. And yes, the um, bird Starly can also be shiny, but again, it will be uncatchable. Turk twig, as you can see, not shiny. That would be our starter Pokemon. You don't have to even worry about catching it because you will get access to that shiny if it was shiny the starly unfortunately you can never actually catch it so when you end this state and you see hey it's not shiny what you need to do is just hit the home button press y it's going to say change users you press close and you jump right back in with the same user that you were doing the profile with and then this way the game loads back up and then you're able to continue right here and walk right back into the lake and then relive this cutscene all over again and then again shiny hunt now i do want to point out that 
this is not the only place that you can shiny hunt for Turtwig, Piplup, and Chimchar. In the Grand Underground, in the biomes when you are able to see wild Pokemon, there is a small chance for Piplup, Chimchar, and Turtwig to spawn in the corresponding biomes. And you would need, again, to have a fire biome, you would need a grass and water biome in order for them to spawn. But you can potentially hunt them for their shinies in the Grand Underground. They do spawn as wild Pokemon. There you see them roaming in the wild. You have to encounter it to see if they are indeed the shiny. But if they are the shiny, you can see them become the shiny in battle and you can hunt them there. Also, obviously the Masuda method will work in this game as well. Once you get to the daycare center, the breeder, you are able to hunt for a Perchwig, Chimchar, Pimplup, that way as well so again there are other methods outside of just this one right here where you have to soft reset but again this is for people who want to soft reset for their main starters being shiny and that's pretty much how you set up for these shiny pokemon let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of this method are you going to be trying it out here in brilliant diamond shiny pearl let me know if you have gotten one of your starter pokemon as shiny let me know that about that in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking pokemon mario call of duty and fortnite whatever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one